Amen. I was thinking about, amen, and I woke up this morning, I, my heart just goes out to, to the children of the whole world. Oh, yeah. Just children because they're getting the worst end of things. They're getting the worst end of, of life. And it seems like every snake, every scorpion, everything that destroys is after them. Through drugs, through pedophiles, through abortion, through abuse, all kind of ways. It's children. Why are people so drawn to destroying children? It's coming through people. And that is because Satan is after the children and wants to destroy the generations. He hates God and he knows that the scriptures say children are the heritage of God. God's heritage. That is what God is dependent on to carry him on. Amen is children. Amen. Generation after generation they grow up, they become our preachers and our teachers and it goes on and on and on. Amen. As far as the Lord is concerned in the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 And it, it, you see things happen. We just see the little things that's happening what they show in the news. That is nothing compared to what is really happening all over this world. And saints of God need to be serious sometime or other. They need to think about praying. The only thing that's going to help I don't care how much money they throw at them and throw at uh, 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 programs and all that. The only thing going to really help is prayer. They're throwing, they throwing billions and billions of dollars at cheering here and there and programs and all of that and, and things are getting worse. But God is looking for the morning women. He's looking for those that's willing to get on their knees and work and labor and prayer. He's looking for those that's going to say, yes, Lord, uh, Look at it as though it was themselves. Because you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. And you're supposed, you are supposed to be dead. So you can be alive to somebody else. Because if you don't die, you're going to get in the way. Every time you turn around, you try to help somebody. If, you, if you're not really dead to self. You gon' uh, let me do this first for me, and then and then do for somebody else. But God has got to have some people that's willing to give up their lives, really, truly, sincerely, give up their lives for somebody else, just as Christ gave Himself, gave up His life for. Everybody. Yes. We got to give up our lives too. What else can we do? That's right. That's right. We can't pay for salvation. We didn't pay to get it. Right. And we can't pay to keep it. Amen. Only thing we can do is what the words say do. Right. We have been given a charge. And we got to keep that charge. Every child of God. A charge to go tell. Yes. A charge to love one another. Amen. A charge to bring forth fruit yes. unto the Lord. Amen. A charge. We got to keep that charge. They used to sing a song. A charge I have to keep. God to glorify. Amen. 
We got a charge. You all charge. A commandment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when you forget about yourself, have anybody ever really, truly forgot about themselves for just a few minutes? Amen. You know, you just forgot. You, you was into something so until you just forgot about your Amen. own self. Amen. Nobody? Amen. Oh, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> if you love it, if you love it enough, whatever it is, you can forget about yourself for a moment. Amen. Amen. But when we see the times approaching, the Bible tells us to be ready. And the only way we can be ready is we got to prepare ourselves. We got to do what it takes to be ready. And the word tells us what to do. Tells us to watch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we got to we, we gotta labor. We, the word tells us to, to, to pray that God will send laborers. Yes. Laborers. Yes. Into his harvest. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the, the field is white already. Yes. It's already ready. It's already there to go get. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've got to try to save the children as many as we can. 